What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. We're getting a puppy today. It is 6.30 on Saturday, September 19th. And I'm going out to feed the calf and get the chores done super early this morning because we're going to get a puppy. Uh, a very unplanned puppy, but when it's right, it's just right. So anyway, gotta go feed the calf. Gotta get the goats fed. Just gotta check on everybody. And then we're gonna be off. EJ's gonna be home any minute. And then we're gonna go because he's a couple hours away. Hey, bud. and antsy and like asking me quite often like if I've heard if the puppy's still available <laughs> or kind of like what the deal was and then finally Thursday night he cracked and he was like yeah I think we should get that puppy and I was like well I already secured it Wednesday morning <laughs> then he was like are you kidding me it was funny it was funny so now we've got puppy this is sleet. You're just, you're just sleeping, you're napping. And that was the other thing is that kind of soon after we got Rip, I had thought if I ever got another one, I wanted it to be a blue Merrill male and I wanted to name him Sleet. So really this puppy's been in the works since we got Rip, like almost two years ago. But we got him and now we're headed home. So once I figured out that this was for sure, the lady that we got ripped from, um, we decided that we would bring Rip with 
And then this little guy has the same parents that Rip has, so it's Rip's direct brother. It's his same mom, same dad, exact same family, so it's Rip's direct brother that we got. And we brought him with so she could see him. He was very shy because they had other Border Collies and uh, Livestock Guardian dogs, but she was so happy to see him because this Rip, she actually wanted to keep him. We didn't get him until he was like 13 or 14 weeks old because she was planning on keeping him and then decided that she just couldn't keep another puppy. So then we saw him for sale and got him. But I think it's super cool that this guy is a direct brother to Rip. So then we know exactly what kind of like temperament he's gonna have. We've seen his parents. It just was really cool to, to do that and then to be able to bring him back so the lady that had him could see him and she just thought he was so handsome and just really pretty and it was neat to then come back and see his mom and dad and Rip's mom or I guess I should say their mom. Their mom looks like Rip, she's red and white, and then their dad looks like Slate, he's a blue Merrill. So it's really cool to have both of them now. We're making a pit stop on our way home and going to the tractor supply to see if we can find something for this new guy. So we're walking around the tractor supply and we've been pet, how many times do you think we've been pet? Probably like 10 times and we're like barely in the door. People are coming over and petting him, <laughs> taking pictures of him. <laughs> it's so funny, he's so cute. Let's see if we can pick out some puppy treats. <laughs> I bought the small milk bones, but is there anything here that's like specifically puppy or something that... Oh look at puppy child training treats. This is where we really want to be. Get the puppy something new. Get the boys something cute so they don't feel left out. A skunk for the puppy? Well, see, we could get something that's got stuffies in it, no. but they're no. just gonna dismember it. There's gonna be stuffies all over the house, so we gotta find like a rope. This cow would be all right. Oh, it's kind of expensive, but I'm sure they would still like it's got limbs. rip it apart. <laughs> We could buy him a harness, because I don't know that any of my harnesses are going to be small enough for him, but we also don't have to. He's a farm dog. Yeah, but he's going to have to go to the vet. <laughs> Ooh, pretty horse stuff. Is there more toys here? Oh, kind of a poor toy selection. Well, the jelly balls are the same price. I kind of want to get the jelly ball with the rope in it, because Chevy doesn't have that one. Yeah, we'll get the, I think the one with the rope in it back there is 24, so we'll get that one. You just want to get him that? Yeah, he could probably run with the smaller one. He's got we'll get the smaller one. Okay. What are we going to get out for a rip? A bed? Yeah, he would love a bed. He likes... He likes those rope toys. He likes it. He kind of likes those jelly balls too, though. We go back up to that front kiosk and see what we could get for him. Because there was some stuff. And there might be some more stuff hidden throughout the store, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. We'll get that for Rip. Yeah. What are we going to get for this one? He's got, a tree. He's got one in here. Oh, we got him. Yeah, that's right. We got him that little rope. Yep, that's right. And then he's going to have a bunch of toys at home because he's not he's not participating in his outing today. Yeah. Chilling. Huh? Yeah. So it's been about two days since we brought Slate home and we're still getting really used to puppy life and schedule and trying to crate train him um, and just get him and his brothers used to each other because that has been a little bit of a challenge whereas Chevy and Rip are used to it being Chevy and Rip they're not used to having another puppy but we're getting there we're making some progress this morning Rip was chasing his tail and then Slate saw it so then Slate started chasing 
his tail. Um, so it was kind of funny, but I thought since he's our third cattle dog, we would come out and show him the cattle and see what he thinks and get him acquainted because we haven't really been home. Um, so this is the first time that he's made it out to the barn and we're gonna show him the cows and we're gonna show him the goats. Hey, Donut. Donut, what do you think of this? What do you think of this slate? What is that? Well, that's kind of scary, huh? She's nice. She's nice. <laughs> He's a little scared. Look at Buddy. Here, I'll turn you around so you can see. Look at all the cows. What do you think? So like I said, he is Rip's direct brother. He's a full brother to Rip. Same mom, same dad. And Rip's not really great with the cows and he's kind of scared of them. So I kind of expect the same from this guy, but it's fine. He'll help what he wants to. We're just gonna start getting him used to the cows and like seeing the cows and being respectful of the cows and not going in there and chasing them like crazy or being a knucklehead. So we're gonna try to start him young as far as getting him acquainted so maybe he's got a little bit more like working ability than rip but it's also okay if he doesn't what do you think of these they're pretty big huh they're pretty big He does not know his name yet, um, and he's still really learning his surroundings here because, well, we really haven't been home in the last couple days. We've been doing some other work, and he's been with us, so he's been over at my parents um, a lot of the time. So, really, today is our first, like, day at home, so everything's very new for him over here, and I was kind of scared to even, like, put him down outside because I didn't know what he was going to do. Um, if he was going to run from me, if he was going to come to me, if he was going to be scared. And he's definitely better than I thought he was going to be. The first night that we were home, I was scared to put him out because I didn't want him to get away from me. But now he recognizes like Chevy and Rip because there was dogs where he was from. Um, so I think he looks at them as being safe um, and being someone something that he can follow so that's been good and then my boys don't go anywhere so I wasn't really concerned that you know he was gonna run if he was following them so anyway we're in the barn so maybe those big cows were kind of scary but maybe the calf won't be quite as scary let's see let's see Bell's in here but I don't know what he thinks about Bell look at it Meeting the cows, not so great. Too fresh, too new, too much of a puppy to be really interested, but it's good that he got to see them and it's fun to be able to do this kind of stuff with him. So now we're gonna walk over and look at the goats and I'll put him down by the goats because that's closer to the house and I just didn't want him to go down out here in the barn because I didn't want him to run into the cow pen because the cows at Noah might be a little nervous that they would charge him. And I don't know that he, quick enough or is like knows enough to run so we'll go see the goats they're a lot safer see what we think of them rip come here slate come here come oh what do you think of those those are the goats what do you think is you scared of them come here sir They're interested in him. They're like, what is that? Another thing to bark at us? Great. Just great. Hey, hey, buddy. 
Look at Jazz. Can I smell? Do you know what we think? Rita, what do you think? They'll get used to you. They'll love you. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you liked coming along with us to go pick up Slate, our new Border Collie boy. And with that, we're gonna call it quits for this video and we will see you guys next time. He just wants to be one of the big guys in the worst way. He just looks up to them like they're just his heroes.